Today's the uh, 18th of uh, November, 2022. We're here on a, a petition for uh, together. We're here for an applicant for a warrant for um, uh, Kevin Parton and the uh, applicant was Latosca La Jones. Okay. Um, we have the petition with the statement and uh, then we have a motion to dismiss by Attorney Jeffrey <coughs> Parker. Uh, do you want to yes, proceed with this? I think the motion pretty much speaks for itself, Judge. The, uh, the law in the state of Georgia is very clear and that is is that anytime there's going to be a, at yeah. least even a Lost my word. Anyway, the application for this trembling warrant, there's got to be a basis for it. There's got to be something that constitutes a crime. And in this case, um, and I'll, if we'll just put this on the record, I think it's pretty clear now, but because um, the defendant in this case, Kevin Partum, is a sworn police officer um, that he is post certified. It has to come before this court rather than through the magistrate court, which is okay. something, honestly, I didn't know. But um, regardless, <coughs> because of that, it's got to be a crime. And even on the very face of the application, the things which are indicated there does not constitute a crime. Uh, the official code of Georgia, it's section 16-1-4, makes it very clear that no conduct constitutes a crime unless it is described as a crime in this title, which is Title 16, or in another statute of this state. Here, the allegations that are set forth in this application don't even rise to that, not of being a crime. At, at best, and that's looking at it at best, at best it possibly uh, could be a claim seeking to get some type of uh, saying there was harassment of some sort, but that is not a crime, and this is an application for criminal warrant. So based on the face of it, as far as a criminal warrant is concerned, uh, I think, and I think the law supports it, that there's no basis in this moving ahead at this juncture, and not on the, not seeking a criminal warrant. Okay. So on that basis, I'd respectfully request that the court dismiss the application for criminal warrant and there are other avenues available for seeking to obtain um, some type of restraining order or protective order if that's what is being sought, but certainly not a criminal one. Okay. And I don't know if Ms. Jones may have some response to that. That's uh, what I was, my next question. Do you have any response to the Well, the issue is she does no longer feel comfortable at, around him at school due to the fact that um, I was falsely a arrested and here's the proof and um, I would like to submit this as evidence and after the arrest um, he I guess wanted to make statements to my child to the effect oh your mom's coming after my job and all this stuff that has nothing she has nothing to do with him falsely arresting me he, I'm the person you should make those comments to, not her. She feels unsafe around him in school. All right, well, that would be a case where you would have to, like, that uh, Ms. Parker uh, said that you would have to petition for a warrant to, or a no contact um, thing for him, her to be not to be in contact with him, but that is not a criminal warrant that would be
be affected under this court. That would be something that would go under the magistrate or the superior court. So I have a question. I um, have the <clears throat> official police report that he wrote up that contradicts what's in here. That's not so in this court. Right? How do I do that? Yeah, that it would be in superior court or state okay. court. Okay. Yes, sir. That would be something that would ha be handled in another court. That is nothing to do with the issue that is before the court today. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I've researched the issue and I've. I know that the Judge Parker has presented the case law and everything that covers this. And, and to uh, poor Miss Jones, although this stuff was mailed out to her, knowing how our mail system runs, you I not, never got it. I know, but see, I didn't become involved with it until Wednesday. And so one thing was sent out Wednesday, and then the motion to dismiss was sent out yesterday. I never got it. Any of those. That doesn't surprise yeah. me. So <laughs> she's kind of coming yeah. into this cold and I understand yeah, that. so that's that's where we're at we, that's why I wanted to explain everything to start with so that you would understand the full extent of it how the law reads and how it works on this uh, like, like mr. Parker said there are al other alternatives to in, you know, be involved in this but it would have to come through the other court yes sir okay so um, due to the fact that there is no legal criminal statute that covers this, we would have to dismiss this case and you can proceed with any other uh, things that you would like to do and uh, go from there. But right now the issue at hand is not a criminal offense, so that would be uh, dismissed as of today, okay? Well, you have any questions on that? Okay. All right. Okay, do you have any further? No, sir. Okay, um, all right. For the, uh, I would ask this, Judge. Yeah. Since I'll prepare a proposed order to submit to you. Okay. But right. at the same time, I want to be sure that Ms. Jones is, uh, is aware of all this stuff and about what's being filed. Obviously, the mail does not get to you very quickly anyway. Do you have an email address or something you would prefer me to use? Yes. What, what would that be? M A T T. I M C F A T T Y F A T T at Gmail. Okay. I'll copy you with it. It'll probably be in the next um within the next hour at max. I'll get back to the office sometime today. Um and I can't I would will give you legal advice, but I would suggest if the concern is that there be no contact between the officer and your daughter. I don't think that's going to be an issue at all, except in the actual performance of her duties at the school, if it's necessitated. But other than that, he doesn't have to speak to her or say, hey, bye, you know, anything. And the same thing would be true and for that could be, And that can also be handled through the, uh, can. the, through the resource officer's uh, chief. He can have that as a understanding order or through his mm -hmm. office so it would not have to go through the courts actually to to maintain that it can be handled through the chief of the uh, school so school police okay yes sir so there's other options that you can use so we're not trying to tell you what you need to do it's just we're letting you know there are other options and it may not have to go through the court it may can be just handled through the local authority Okay. He understands that very well. <laughs> okay. All right. You ain't even further questions? No, sir. All right. Then we you can go whenever you get ready. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.